Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video because our team made some brand new updates to our manual background removal tool. And I wanna show you how those new updates are gonna affect the way that you use this tool. So let's go ahead, we're gonna use this item as an example, and I'm gonna begin tracing all the way around it so I can completely remove it from that background image. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pop over to the toolbar, I'm gonna to click on the background removal tool right here, and I'm gonna switch over into the manually remove background option. So this is the option that allows you to trace all the way around the product. Now to begin with, uh, to help you get in nice and close to the product edges, there's the zoom feature over here. So I'm just gonna zoom right into the product so I can get right in close. And I'll start by, uh, uh, I'll start my trace line right here and I'm gonna make my way around the product edge. So here we go. Just click and add a point, And when you click and add a point, you're gonna see this line extending out of it. So you can make your next point up the, uh, around the product edge here. And when I pull on that point, it's gonna allow me to create curved lines. So this will allow you to create nice, clean, curved lines to make your way around the product instead of having a bunch of jagged little points. Now, over here, because we've zoomed into this product, what I need to do is I need to shift my screen. So you're gonna use the scroll bars on the side of the product here to adjust the screen so that you can see more of the product edges. And then we'll just keep making our way around this product. So again, I'm just gonna make some clean points. I'll add in the curves where I need it. For instance, right around here, I'm just gonna click and pull, and I'm gonna do it again here, click and pull, so I can get around the product edge. Now, if some of your points aren't 100% perfect, like this one right here, don't worry about it. We can always adjust that after the fact. So what you wanna do is just keep continuing on with your trace, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can correct that in just a moment. So again, I'm gonna make my way down here and around the legs. And the nice thing about having this background removal tool is that it's gonna make it easy for you to use products that you might not have been able to use before because they were shot within a space. So now you've got a lot of flexibility to choose whatever product you want, completely remove it from the background image and build that into your simple mood board designs or your 3D uh, mood board designs as well. So again, I'm just shifting the screen whenever I need to by using these scroll bars over here. I'm gonna pull up so I can see more of the product. And when I hit into areas that need a curve, I'm just gonna click and pull and make sure that I create a curved line that matches the edge of the product. I'll do that again here, click and pull and create a nice curve to get around that little armrest. Again, I'm gonna shift my screen over again and close this off. So I've made my way around the outside edge of the product and that's what you wanna do first. And then what you can do is you can start cutting out the inner sections. Before I do that, I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment to this curve or to this line over here and I'm gonna pull this point in. That's better. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull my uh, scroll bar over and I'm gonna start cutting out this section of the chair because I don't want this portion of the background to remain either. So I'll just start by clicking anywhere I want within this edge. If I wanna zoom in, I can zoom in again and get closer to the product edges. And again, we're just gonna make our way around the edge of this product. Click and hold for any areas where you want to be able to create a nice curved line, like right here and then close off your trace. Now you always need to close off your trace. So whatever point you started with when you first began the trace, that's the point that you need to click again to completely close it. If you don't do that, technically the trace is still open and that background portion will remain intact. So you see how it's turning into this kind of like yellowy green color. If you see that and you click on that, the line is then gonna go black and then you know that you have completely cut off or closed off your trace. If it still remains red, then you have not finished that. So just keep that in mind. As a final uh, step here, I'm just gonna cut out this section right here. And again, I'm just gonna zoom in nice and close so I can get right in close to the edges of the product and make my way up and around here. And that's it. Once I hit save here, the entire background is now going to be removed. And now I've got a nice clean chair that I can add into my mood board design. 
So that's how the new background removal tool works. Definitely pop into your Design Files account, give this new feature a try, because I think it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to trace around the items, completely remove those background images, and it'll give you more flexibility to choose to use whatever product you want within your mood board designs, whether they're shot on a white background or not. So definitely pop into your account, and as always, let us know what you think.